Welcome back, Swanee Fest. We hope you guys are having a great day. Man, Swanee Fest is virtual this year and it's going well. And next year, we're gonna be back live with you and we are going to need lots of volunteers. And I am joined right here with Tracy Mason, who is our Swanee Fest volunteer coordinator. Tracy, how you doing today? I'm doing great, Brandon, thanks. Good, good. Now, Tracy, we're gonna need lots of volunteers for Swanee Fest 2021 next year. How can people volunteer for Swanee Fest? Well, keep an eye on SwaneeFest.com. We'll post all the information there and we couldn't do it without all of our awesome volunteers. That's great. And you know what? When you're a volunteer, you get to have a great Swanee Fest t-shirt. So Tracy, show everybody our 2020 Swanee Fest t-shirt. And we also have to thank all of our sponsors, which show in the back, we've got our which is one of our sponsors. So thank you, Tiger Tails, because they want to take care of your pets and make sure your pets are healthy and safe. So why don't you check out this video from Tiger Tails and it'll show you how you can take care of your pets the best. Hey, Swanee Fest, it's Brandon here. And you guys are familiar with Tiger Tails who provide our pet shade tents for Swanee Fest. Well, this year we're having virtual Swanee Fest, but we still want to check in with Tiger Tails because they do such great things. So today I'm here with Amber. Hi, Amber. Hi. Hey, Amber, I wanted you to tell us a little bit about what Tiger Tails has been doing for pets during this season of COVID. So we've had to adjust just like everybody else, just like human medicine, dentist, anything like that. So we've been creative and we came up with some curbside options where our doctors will go outside um, and see the pets via the car and talk to people via the car. We're taking payments over the phone. We have a little drive-through set up. We have extra precautions inside. So we also offer um, telemedicine, like uh, kind of like FaceTime calls with the doctors. So. Oh, that's awesome, Amber. Okay, well, so you're talking about some of these cool aspects. So I'd like to dive a little bit deeper. Tell us a little bit, we're, we're standing under this cool tent. What is this tent purpose for? during COVID? So we have a greeter or a runner stationed outside all day long. They go up to cars as they pull in and they get their pets checked in. So it kind of cuts back on phone calls and make sure everybody feels, you know, attended to. Um, they'll check the pets in and then the medical team will take it from there. We also, the greeter, the tent here is um, for a drive-through for any medications, any dog food. So the, you, you don't even have to get out of the car. You just pull right up and we'll bring it right out to you. Well, great. I also see out in the parking lot that you have numbered spaces. So yes. tell us about the numbered spaces and what do those represent? Yeah, so that was a um, work in progress trying to figure out how we knew which pet was in what car. Um, so we have curbside, if you're going to be seeing curbside numbers, and then we have numbers for um, special cases that get to go into rooms. So that way we know the medical team knows which car to go to. Okay, well, great. Now, so now we've been checked in and we're ready to go in. Can you tell us a little bit about the process of what happens when you go inside? Inside. So we have a temperature check. We ask you to wear a mask when you come in, one person per pet. Um, we have, we clean and sanitize every room. We have you wait into your ear car until it's time where there's a room ready. And then the medical team member will escort you and your pet inside, we'll get a quick wait and then handle everything fairly normally. Things are a little bit slower. So we have to ask for a little bit of patience and uh, grace during this time, but we're all trying our best to make sure everybody's safe and that no patient care has uh, relaxed. We wanna make sure that we're able to provide the care needed. So Amber, you guys have kept going during COVID and you haven't stopped. What are some things that you can tell people to make them realize that, hey, pets also still need to be taken care of during the season? Right, right. So we didn't even, we didn't close at all. Um, we know that it's very important for pets to have continued patient care. There's no lapse of care. Certain things have to go on. So we uh, tried to be creative, might have slowed things down a little bit, but we also offer telemedicine for someone sick or if it's a case that we can handle via, you know, a FaceTime call with the doctor, and that has picked up a lot, and it's been really cool. So we just wanna make sure that we're there for the pet one way or another. Well, that's amazing. Is there anything lastly that you'd like to tell? Because Tiger Tails is right here in Duluth, right off of Peachtree Industrial Boulevard, you can't miss you. Is there anything else that you'd like to share with everybody before we get ready to go? Yeah, we'd just like to thank the community for being so understanding and um, patient with us. And everybody's learning kind of the new adjustment time and we're open to suggestions, but we've been we've been loving the snacks and treats and extra love that we've been getting as we're trying to all adjust during this so fun you, time. <laughs> so you heard that, Swanee Fest. Bring them treats, bring them things, call ahead. 
Miss Carla will do a little temperature check. She was checking temperatures today. She's really good. But they want to take care of you and your pets. So Tiger Tales, we want to thank you for all that you have invested in Swanee Fest. And we can't wait to have the pet shade areas coming back when yes. we're all out and going. Us too. Thank you so much. We're thankful for all you do. <laughs> all right. We'll see you guys in just a little bit. All right, welcome back. Thank you, Tiger Tails, for all that you do for Swanee and for the greater Gwinnett area. Well, friends, we're here at this table and chairs, and I'm joined with my good friend, Matt, because the city of Swanee is going to have tables and chairs located in Swanee Town Center Park so that you can come out and you can dine, you can relax, you can socially distance. They've also created new patios and extended dining areas in lots of the restaurants around Swanee so that you can get food and you can go and eat out on the extended patios and you can come eat in the park. But you know something that is most important about food is seasoning. And you want your food to be seasoned well. Well, I'm joined with the CEO of Natural Salts, Mr. Matt. Matt, how you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you? Man, Matt, I'm doing great. Wonderful. And I just want to say, not only is Matt the CEO of Natural Salts, but he's also one of our farmer's market vendors. And Matt has great seasoning. So Matt, can you tell us a little bit about Natural Salts? Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for asking. So Natural Salts is an all but natural seasoning that we came up with about five years ago. It's selling great. We're in some of the local stores. We're at the farmer's market, a lot of festivals. It's got a really good blend of all natural sea salt. It's got garlic, onion, pepper, and celery seed in it, mm -hmm. which is an unusual seasoning, and it is just king on steak. It's wonderful on just about every vegetable protein you can come to think of. Replaces all your salt and pepper, but the sea salt is important to have sea salt rather than regular salt. So yeah, it's a wonderful seasoning. Well, Matt, you're speaking about steak, and last night I had your seasoning on the steak, and I gotta say, it was probably one of the best steaks I've ever had, even better than what you kind of oh, get when you that's, eat out. That's great. Because of the seasoning. We but have you, people tell us that. Yes, but because you have great seasoning, you've also got some new flavors that you're featuring at the farmer's market. Right. Can you share with everybody your new seasonings right yeah, now? Yeah, so, so the good one is that we just came up with one that's called a mojito. Uh -huh. It's a mojo seasoning. It is Caribbean <laughs> flavored, it is Cuban flavored, it's got some lime in it, it is got some vegetables, some cumin, some herbs in it, and it is selling like hotcakes. Mm. We sell most of it right now. It's selling like crazy. Got one today. Yeah. And? And we've got a lemon pepper that is not like your normal lemon pepper. It is not your grandma's. It is fresh, refreshing, and it makes amazing wings. Yes. The lemon pepper is amazing on wings and pork chops. Yes, and yeah. I got that today because wings and pork chops are going to be in the recipe yeah. this week. Now, Matt, because you guys are local yeah. and you care about local right. and all natural, how can people reach out to you and get yep. some of your natural salts? So a couple of places. We're in several stores throughout the area. Some of the butcher shops, Block and Blade Butcher Shop in Flowery Branch. Mm -hmm. We're in Wilkes Market. Mm -hmm. um, and then you can always go online because we have an online store, www.naturalsaltswithaz.com. Wow. Well, Matt, I want to thank you for what you're doing to take food and seasoning to the next level. Yep. And thank you for being out here and being a participant with, with Swanee. Yep, hey, thank you. Hey, Swanee Fest, thank you guys for joining in. Make sure you check out Natural Salts. It is so good. And make sure you keep going on to SwaneeFest.com. Not only can you go on there to get your shop on, but you can also go on there to check out some of our favorite entertainers and favorite performers that we've had. All right, friends, we'll be back live at 12 with some more goodness here at Swanee Fest. You guys stick around and we'll see you soon.